Paul, the fear here at the Stadium Light, how did you see the game? Uh, disappointingly, because we didn't come away with anything. I thought we started the game really well, uh, for what it's worth, and I thought, well, here we go, we're, gonna, we're quieting the crowd down quite well. Uh, and then, obviously, there wasn't much in the first half, I don't think. I don't think either team were amazing. I just thought that they were a bit more um, concise on the ball than we were. We give the ball away a bit too much for my like, and we kept losing it down the middle of the pitch, which um, we worked on not to. <laughs> And, um, you know, there's always going to be mistakes in play, but I just thought we'd give it away one, one touch too many times and a bit flicky and a bit like, like you just sometimes you have to, you know, take a touch, take contact, play. And that was what I was frustrated with first half. But then, obviously, they scored a 30-yard absolute screamer. Again, a lot of their attacks came from our poor play, which is frustrating. But then second half, I thought we were a lot better, although, ironically, I say that and we conceded again, but I don't think they had many chances second half, and I thought that we had some really good stuff, and you know, another one might go in, it drops in the six-yard box, just waiting for the net to come off, and I felt like we quieted the crowd down a lot, and I thought we were the team in the ascendancy, but you know, I am being a bit crit critical, but you know, you need to play with that personality in the first half, not when it's two, not when we're two 0 down. Anyone can play at two 0 because there's no pressure. I need the players to stand up and, um, uh, you know, play with a real confidence in the first half. So, uh, yeah, that's my frustration. I just didn't think we kept the ball well enough first half. Collectively, by the way, from one to eleven, I just didn't think we were as good as we we could have been. It's fine margins again as well, like you say, with those with those chances in the second half when we did have a good spell, just not falling our way. Yeah, and then you know the chance they created, they squared it and. I think he'd lost um, centre half in the box, and it's just a simple tap in, and we were in similar areas. I mean, even the one where I think it was Kane put Caden through, overcooked the pass, and like I said, a goal. Then I honestly felt we were in a real good place, and a couple of attempts, and you know, the lads, the subs that went on, as did the uh, game changes at the weekend, had a real positive impact in the game. But unfortunately, we didn't get the goal that possibly our uh, play deserved. And if you obviously, if you don't score. You know you can't you can't change the game, uh, getting the ascendancy. So yeah, that's the disappointing thing. I just thought we deserved the goal really, but uh, tonight we just weren't uh, clinical enough. Quick turnaround back to Pride Park, obviously where we have we have a good record. Yeah, uh, well we need to pick the lads up Thursday because obviously they're disappointed, and you know we've had a chat after the game what we think, and we need to pick them up and show them stuff as well and give them confidence to take you know two three touches and move the ball um, but there was some really good stuff and the stuff I was really pleased with and if the score line wasn't what it was and you know the old classic of you know my uncle and my aunt that saying but um, yeah we just need to pick them up for the weekend and hopefully finish this international break with a win because you know three defeats on the spin is not uh, pleasing and you know I don't want the lads to waste their lives or their careers but I just felt tonight was a wasted opportunity I just didn't think we played with enough courage first half and I mean, that's on me I, 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 I have to look at myself and see what we do in training and see how we can help them for the weekend and hopefully uh, put smiles on people's faces come Saturday Just a final word for the away fans who are brilliant again I know you always appreciate their support Yeah brilliant in fairness yeah, I, I said it in a previous interview really good I applauded them at the end and the ones who stayed and kindly clapped off the team I know how far it is uh, it's a long way on a Tuesday night when you got work the next day, so I'd sincerely thank you. I went to Clapham before the game. All the Sunderland fans were clapping me because the lights were going on and off. I don't think they knew who <laughs> who I was, so I was actually clapping the Derby fans, not the Sunderland fans. But, no, sincerely, thanks for coming. The lads appreciate the support, and hopefully uh, we'll be um, uh, on the better end of a next-away result um, after the international break.